Hey there, Dew Drops. It's Diane from Coravina. Happy day two of our water marbling this week. We are working on pale lavenders with a little bit of gray with powder blues. All right, so we've got a whole bunch of paint that we are ready to use, and I have a whole bunch of inspiration on my Pinterest board. So follow the link, follow the link below to the Pinterest board, and it'll show you where all these beautiful inspirational pictures came from. Here they are now. Do you like them? I think they're really pretty. I hope you're into this trend. I'm into this trend. And you're going to be seeing it in stores soon. All right. So um, I hope you like it for that very reason. So we're going to make another beautiful water marble paper today. And we're going to do the purples. Purples, lavenders, and grays is what we want. Okay. Because last time we did like that icy Elsa blue-gray pattern. Okay. So let's see what we can make today. We're going to marble some paper. I'm glad you're here. Let's go. Okay, Dewdrops, I think the first thing we're going to do is put down our gray. You can see that pushing everything out to the sides that isn't supposed to be there, really prepping our surface, making it look good. And lately, I've been getting a lot of comments from people who enjoy just the stones. All right, so I think that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to do a fun stone pattern of purples and grays. So we'll just layer them up, let them disperse, and then add more and more paint to our surface. So how's everybody doing? Is it starting to look like spring where you are? It is starting to look like spring where I am. I'm kind of excited about that. I really love, it's one of my favorite parts of the year is when it's warm enough that the daffodils start coming up. And I haven't seen any daffodils around here, but I have seen them um, through other Facebook posts of friends more towards the south. So if you've got daffodils in your yard, I am very excited for you and excited for me because that means they're on their way to my house here in Cincinnati nothing like the first time seeing flowers poke up out of the ground right after a long winter we had a pretty good winter here like we we got snow but I think all of the snow that was meant for us in that big winter snap was sent more towards like northern Indiana so we kind of dodged that bullet but we had snow my kids had fun we went sled riding we built an igloo I say we my husband helps my children build an igloo and he himself is just a very large child whom I love deeply but <laughs> he decided to build like this massive igloo that maybe was big enough the kids could not stand up inside of it but I feel like this was his goal when he started building it and I told him like are you trying to have the fire department come tell us we need to tear it down because it was that big and so no they didn't and our igloo just finished melting yesterday so it was a very good igloo we're the last people with snow in our yard in the neighborhood so they were totally thrilled with that they even built a little tiny um snowman like a two foot tall snowman with what was left yesterday so we had fun hope you guys have been having fun anybody in texas oh i've been thinking about you hope everything is back on track now i heard your texas is back up to like their normal beautiful weather uh deep down in the south so hope everything's back on our road to normalcy all right got a lot of gray got a lot of our purple here i think we're gonna put let's do just a little bit more um of that main purple or kind of a grapey purple as our finishing purple here no i lied a little bit i want it to be a little bit darker there we go. Okay, so I think this is really pretty. I have had um, a lot more people commenting on 
on things that I kind of do differently too, which I love because when I first started water marbling, the one thing I wish I would have known is that people do this a lot of different ways. You don't have to do it like the one way that everybody does it. You can do it different ways. And so I prefer to use my dropper bottles because I'm in my playroom, my kid's playroom. That's where my art studio is set up right here. Um, so I really need to maintain, uh, you know, not having paint sprinkled all over my room. <laughs> so I use the spray bottles, but a lot of people, or I use the drip bottles. A lot of people use our flicking tool, which I love, but that's why our our stones are so big is because we dropped instead of flicked. Okay guys, so we are ready to dip down our big piece of white paper. We're gonna get a fun pattern, I think. All right, here we go. Can you see this area right here? It looks like there's nothing there. Oh, it's there and it's a shimmer and it's gonna be fun, I think. All right, let's see what we've got. All right, guys, here we go. We've got our board. Let's pull this out of the water and see what we've got. Oh, that's super fun. We'll give it a tilt and let it drip off here for a second. Well, you think it's very abstract. <laughs> I always have at least one person that comments on how much they look like cells and they do. They totally look like cells. But this is a stone pattern. It's when you drop everything in and you don't move it around with tools. Probably a more traditional stone pattern would have much smaller circles than what we've got. But I like what we did today, guys. I think it looks good. All right, let me move this away. All right, what do you think? Do you like it? I hope you like it. I hope I like it. So what happens now? Now I have to let it dry. I usually um, let it, I've been letting it sit on a slanted surface let the water drip off and then I hang it dry and then I iron it because they're super wrinkly uh, right after they dry. Then I compare it to our inspirational pictures. So once again, here's our collage of inspiration. And here is our pattern. What do you think? Do you like it? Okay, so once again, we are working with powder blues, lavenders and grays this week so i hope you enjoyed it and definitely come back for our next one all right this is diane from coravina hoping that you live colorfully and don't forget to like comment or share this video it really helps me out and go over to coravina.com that's c-o-r-a hyphen vina.com and you're gonna find some beautiful water marbled goods okay all right take care remember live colorfully